three, there are two basketball and four football in a box. So there's two option: basketball and football. Four balls are randomly drawn from the box at one at a time. So one at a time, that means one selected and put one back. After after the type of ball is recorded, it, it is written to the box. If X represent the number of basketball being drawn from the box, draw a probability distribution of graph for X. So here we are talking about basketball, right? So we know that we only have two basketball out of uh, two basketball out of six, right? Because we have uh, two basketball, so we have two basketball and we have four football. So all together is six. So two over six and four over six. This one is one over three, and this one is two over three. So this one is basketball, and this one is football. Okay. So we see here four balls are randomly selected. So we see here the number of x. X is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Because the ball is being drawn and put back. So there's always probability of getting basketball. So we have 2 here. So the probability here of getting basketball is 1 over 3. And this one is 2 over 3. So draw a probability distribution graph. Okay. So here we have to make a table first. So here probability when x is equal to 0. So we are using, so we have, when we have two options, so it is binomial distribution. So p x is equal to r is equal to n c r. So this one is p r q n minus r. So we see here we are talking about basketball. So p is equal to 1 over 3 because basketball is 1 over 3. So q is equal to 2 over 3. And you can see that p plus q is actually equal to 1. Right? So this one. So and the number uh, which is 4 ball being selected for c, r is equal to 0. And then our p is 1 over 3. And then this one is 0. This one is supposed to be 0. And then here q is 2 over 3. And the power here is n minus r. You can just take from here 4 minus 0 which is equal to 4. So here you are going to get 0 0.1975. 0 0.1975. So p x is equal to 1. So which is equal to 4 c1. 1 over 3 1. 2 over 3. This one is 4 minus 1 which is equal to 3. So this one is 0 0.3951. So Px is equal to 2 which is equal to 4C2. 1 over 3. This one is 2. You see here this one and this one is the same. 2 over 3 power 2 which is equal to 0 0.2963. So Px is equal to 3 which is equal to 4 C3, 1 over 3, this one is 3, this one is 2 over 3, power of 1, which is equal to 0 0.0988. So here P, X is equal to 4, is equal to 4 C4, 1 over 3, power of 4. This one and this one is the same. And then we have 2 over 3. 4 minus 4 is 0. So here we are going to get 0 0.0123. So you can see that your x as is, is actually x is equal to r or r, which is we have 0 up to 4. And you have to see for your y axis. So for the y axis, which is probability, so we should see the highest and the lowest point. So we see here the highest, okay, this one is 0 0.0123, right? So we see the lowest is 0 0.0123 and the highest one is 0 0.39, up to 0 0.39. So here for x, you can just make it, because this one is up to 4, right? So here 0, 1, 
4 and for y so we see here we have up to 0 0.39 so just make sure you can fit I just put it 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 and this one is 0 0.4 you can make it higher where this one represent p x is equal to r and this one is equal to r So here, the easier, way, the easier way for you to plot is that you see here, you see here for 10 small box, it is 0 0.1. So 10 small box, it is 0 0.1, which is 1 small box is equal to 0 0.01. So you see here. So what we are going to do is that we make it into two decimal point and divide per small box. So we know that how many box for us to plot. So we see here s is equal to 0, which is 0 0.1975. If we take two, uh, two decimal point, we get 0 0.20, right? So 0 0.20 divided by 0 0.01 divided per one small box, you get 20. That means you have to mark 20 box. So here 0, so 20 box is here because one small box is 10, right? So 0 0.3951, so 0 0.3951 is actually 0 0.40 because 2 decimal point. So 0 0.40 divided by 0 0.01, we get 40. So here we just mark at 40. Okay. And then 0 0.296 is actually 0 0.30. So here 2 0 0.30. And then here, 30.0988 is actually 0 0.10 because this one you add 1, 1, you get 0 0.10. So this one is 0 0.10. And here you have 0 0.0143. So two decimal points, 0 0.01 divided by 0 0.01, you get 1. So this one is actually 1. Oh my God, very small here, 1. So now you can connect the point from the x z. So 0. 1, 2, 3, 4.